people, welcome. This is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish unfinished matches. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. I hope you had a lovely week and I also hope you're enjoying your weekend. Where are you happening this weekend? Kuna pahali unafa kwenda nanisahi. Are you considering using a cab? Because that's what we are talking about today. We are talking about safety on digital taxi apps. Tell me what you think in the comment section at Y254 hashtag unfinished. So NTSA has actually said we only have five digital taxi apps that are licensed to be working in Kenya. So I am going to give you a task to find out if your favorite app is actually one of them. So on to our first question. Do you think you are safe in a taxi, especially at night? Let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm usually not 100% safe. What I do, I make sure that I've called people before I get into an Uber or a Bolt so that they may know that I'm from this distance to my destination. That's what I do to be safe. I'm in a taxi. I'm like, I'm the same as I'm in a taxi because I'm in a to your destination. I'm in a taxi. I'm a squeeze. To say when they come in a kwanga 50 50 because number one, will a driver wears you come jua, um jui, komajina, ama um jui niya yake. So squeeze the mali penny me fika, especially here in Nairobi, uh, una panda na kujia mini, to say when they come a kujia mini, because sasa, come mali sasa wali penny me si mama, si jui nini ni akinanani, nini pia mni jui, na um jui niya yango. So, um, to say me sasa kama ni Uber, mm, kuna vitu zenye wanafaa pia wakua kifuatilia. Kama to say me vile matatu zilikuwa eh, ya kwamba ukipanda unapata jina yake na picha yake iko pale mbele. Hiyo eh, itaisaindia pia sa zile unapebo, sa zile wanakubebo wa wenyewe. We mwenyewe unajua namba yao yake asimu, unaeza text. Mtu kama friend yako umuambia hili agari ukonayo na daefa just in case something happens. My safety is on my hands, so taxi is just but a tool I'm using to get somewhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think it, it depends. You can be or not be safe, depending on, uh, on whose hands you are as the person who's driving you or as the Uber driver or owner. Yeah. Fairly safe. Uh, I feel fairly safe in taxis because I, uh, I go through the whole uh, verification uh, process. You have to double check or check or double check uh, the details. Uh, yeah, and also I, I feel <laughs> uh, having probably a certain person is, is uh, maybe on your speed dial. You have this guy, this guy will come through for me, something of that sort, yeah. About safety. Uh, what I can say is that safety begins with me and uh, how safe I am, it depends with uh, where I am from and where I'm heading to because you realize that safety is all about whatever we do on our own. So how, how can I be safe is maybe I leave it to God, yeah, because at times emergency can present itself. but. With time, you can understand how to maintain your safety and how to be on time and how to meet deadlines. Uh, going by the recent uh, findings, you've realized that we tend to get safe when we use the online taxi, when you just, by the press of a button, you get a Uber, a random Uber. So, when it comes to a bizarre incident where now you you are exposed to unsafe uh, ordeal, then I think it could be somebody's fate or maybe just any unfortunate incidents. Yeah. Sometimes you never know at night what can happen. It can either be a, a thug or uh, just a regular guy. So you can tell him, can we stop here, I get some few things and he takes off. Or uh, he can even come with you and help you out with your, your, if you have an issue. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a two-way spectrum. 
So you can meet a bad person, you can meet a good person. Uh, okay, I'm safe if I know the person who is driving, because now since we have uh, Uber apps, you have to know the person who is driving the vehicle. So if I know who that person is, I think I'm safe. It means the first thing to me to ensure that I'm safe. Uh, the direction and the destination where I, I will be dropped and the routes that we are using. No, you board a taxi and you realize that the routes that is he or she is using, they are not that straight. They are Tupanya routes. So you start questioning yourself. That's the first thing that makes me feel insecure. And like, the, like we have the main road, but he ought to use the Panya routes with the reason known to himself. Not because there, are, there is a traffic on the main road, but just because he wants to use it. That's the first question. The second thing is when you board, your, he will tell you, like, I want us to go offline. Why should we go offline? I get He wants you to go offline so that you can pay either less or more. For him, he will tell you that, but why should I? And yet you are using it for online. So why should we go offline? Not the second. Then the third, I, bought, I ordered a taxi alone. Then you come as a driver with another person seated in front. How am I so secure that this person is not one of you? And if he's a customer, why did you take my order and yet you have another customer headed to different destinations? And if you are heading to one destination, why would you not drop her or him first before you drop me? So that makes me insecure in second place or in third place. A hundred percent not safe. Either at night or at daytime. Right now, you are not safe anywhere. Not in the streets, not in the village, and especially in a taxi where you are locked in a confined place. Someone is driving you. They have control over you because when you are at the back of the seat and they have locked the doors, they can do with you whatever they want. So you are not safe at night, during the day. Uh, it's by God's grace we are, we are surviving in this country. Yes. To some level, uko safe. Because uh, taxi, mainly drivers for taxi, are, they are Kenyan. And most are Kenyan youth. So when we wako to kutafuta, uh, wako sana into walifu. But you know, we live in a society, enye kona walifu. So to some extent, Pia, you are not that much safe. Yeah, so, but uh, I will say to some level, it is safe. Okay, I will just say, come on, you take me any time, you end up at that, you end up going order that Uber. Like if you pass uh, midnight, you go you go, na you take me any end up here. So like, never go safe at ill early, like during that you six sana, then you come in never go safe sana. So boy, you take me no mutu me, you take me no kubeba, na uju kwanza, check. Kasa weta bidu kwanza, uwa uju any that that situation you six sana, you never go and never say si si safe sana vile. Ah. I don't think I'm safe, especially at night, because number one, you don't know the taxi driver, and of course, you're not sure whatever uh, of what can happen to you. Yeah. In my opinion, I feel like the first thing to check is that you are sober for your own safety and also for the driver's safety, because we can have passengers that are physically abusive to the driver as well. Then make sure the details that are on the car are the same details that are on the app, and the driver that's driving you is the same driver on the app. Then uh, another step you can take is to share your trip with your friends so they can keep tracking how you're going. And then also make sure you do not go offline. So on to our second question. How do you think taxi app ensure the safety of the customer? Let me know what you think in the comment section at Y254 hashtag unfinished. In a taxi, I make sure first my location is on, my GPS, so that if in case of anything happening, someone can track me. There's only someone with my backup email account. Because these days people go missing and finding them is hard. But in my safety in, um, in the car, make sure that you know the driver study to Kwamacho before you go on with their journey. Kwanza we join in at the driver, we make sure you know the person. 
tuseme kama sana sana wakati mwingine mimi hutumia Uber. E, kitu ya kwanza gari ikikuja kwanza naangalia namba Brit na make sure nimeikiin kwa simu yangu ama nime text best yangu nimemwambia niko kwa gari fulani maybe kama nilikuwa naenda kumtembelea namwambia sana niko kwa gari niko kwa gari fulani na nakuja hiyo tu ndio nadhani tu inaweza kuwa step ya maana tu cuz up wengine katikati wezi ukajua kutaendaje It's just trying to be um, at the right place at the right time and you know praying to your God to help you don't land into someone who's going to you know take advantage of you and something like that. I, I first of all you have to confirm uh, the details on the app if they match the vehicle. Uh, I think that's what I have been doing confirming the details. Uh yeah and I think is I have not been in a situation where I have to like really doubt yeah Well what I do the first thing is I pray my last prayers and uh, I realize that I believe now that I'm safe then the next thing I do is I take great care I don't get uh I don't get disillusioned. I ensure that I don't take any drink. I ensure that I don't confront the the driver so that everything remains constant. So in the event that uh, an unfortunate incident appear, happens or appears, I know how to handle myself, I know how to handle the driver and maybe if there are maybe kidnappers or anything, I would maybe raise alarm by my phone, maybe call uh, an emergency number like the police line and a helpline and all that. I always ride with my, my boys. I always, I'm, not, I'm never alone uh, in an Uber. Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, I don't want a situation where uh, I touch something, I black out, I wake up in the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> The vehicle in Eco, it may register a car up, it's the same vehicle that is parked and I'm supposed to enter. Yeah. Ensure the driver, the name, and the number plates. The, the vehicle that I ordered online is the same vehicle that has come, not another thing. And the driver that I call, I talk to, is the same driver that is coming. Not like I call another driver and then the taxi that is coming to me is different from the one that I ordered. Yeah, that's the first thing. Then the second thing, ensure my location on phone is on. Ensure my location is on so that if anything happens, they can trace from the first place to another. And then I let my friends know that I'm leaving this destination to another destination. From where I'm living, they know that I've left, and to where I'm going, I keep on updating them on that I've reached so and so. Is to make sure that the the taxi that you are using matches the description on the online platform, eh? the number plate and the name of the driver. Sometimes also look at the driver and you see if they are they look scary. You you judge, but you know also. You make sure you also communicate to someone else, especially your friend, where you are going to. You make sure, you make sure they know you are coming uh, using a taxi. And uh, ETA, you know, the expected time of arrival. If anything happens, they, they will be the first one to know. The other thing is to avoid traveling at night, which is hard. But if you are able to avoid using taxis at night, Use a taxi that you know, the, the, the traditional taxis, the one that you call the driver over the phone, they know you, you know them, you know where they live. Use that one, use those ones. Yeah, at night especially, during the day you can risk. Yeah. When I use taxi, most, mostly during the night or the late hours, I would uh, try so much that uh, I don't take a taxi alone. At least we are two. Uh, when we walk in the night so we could have somebody who can raise alarm uh, and when you are two at, at least you you are much safer than when you are alone 
So I try as much as possible to avoid being alone when using a uh, taxi, more so in the night or even during the day. Yeah, because uh, you know you cannot just trust somebody who you don't know, it's a stranger. You make a request and he, he'll come pick you. So the, the the first precaution I would take is to at least board the taxi with another person. So first of all, ni kujua the company, the, that company will be in a work. Hmm? Like, uh, is kwe kitu ni umepata tu leo, na una take it, na una amua, yani, yani like, this, today una order this different. So uh, it will stick na what you always use. Kama ni bolt, wana yata na bolt, yivo. kama ni hile ni unajua, ni hivo tu. Kasa hiyo shift. Na kujua yani history ya yu ya company ndo important thing ya kujua hapo. Utajua confidentiality na vile wako na wako. Hivyo sasa ndo ndo kwa na amini vile company utakwani na inside ya. Okay, uh, I remember there is a time when I boarded a taxi. And uh, something, ja my instincts uh, just told me, you know, this could not be safe. And what I did is that I sent my live location to several, several relatives and in that way they could track everywhere that I was uh, going and I think uh, that is the most safe way to ensure your safety. In my opinion, I feel like the first thing you should check is ensure that you are sober for your own good and also for the driver's sake. Um, also, make sure that you confirm the details on the car are the same details on the app, the same driver on the car, same driver on the app. Then also, you can uh, decide to share your details with your friends so they can track how you're going. Also, make sure you do not go offline for your own safety. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with two more questions.